Submarines are remarkable underwater vessels designed to operate beneath the ocean's surface, offering unique capabilities unmatched by other vehicles. They play a crucial role in various fields, including military defense, scientific research, and deep sea exploration. The ability to dive, remain submerged for extended periods, and navigate through the depths has fascinated engineers and explorers for centuries. This video delves into the fascinating mechanics of submarines, detailing their operation, components, and the innovative technologies that make underwater exploration possible. Submarines operate based on a combination of scientific principles and engineering marvels, enabling them to navigate underwater efficiently. The fundamental concepts that govern their operation include buoyancy, ballast management, and hydrodynamics. Here's how these principles work together to make submarine functionality possible. 1. Buoyancy and Archimedes' Principle At the heart of submarine operation is Archimedes' Principle, which states that an object submerged in a fluid experiences an upward buoyant force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced. A submarine floats on the surface when its weight is less than the water it displaces. Conversely, it sinks when it becomes heavier than the displaced water by taking on ballast. Number two, ballast tanks. Submarines use ballast tanks to control buoyancy and achieve different states. Surfacing, to rise to the surface, ballast tanks are filled with air, reducing the submarine's overall weight. Diving, to submerge, water is allowed into the ballast tanks, increasing the submarine's weight and making it negatively buoyant. Neutral buoyancy, when the weight of the submarine equals the displaced water, it achieves neutral buoyancy, allowing it to remain suspended at a specific depth. The precise management of these tanks is critical for maintaining stability and depth control. But three, propulsion systems. Submarines are equipped with propulsion systems, such as diesel electric engines or nuclear reactors, to drive them forward underwater. Nuclear-powered submarines have a significant advantage in endurance, allowing them to stay submerged for months without surfacing. The propulsion system works alongside rudders and diving planes for maneuverability. Number four, hydrodynamics. The streamlined shape of a submarine, often referred to as a teardrop design, minimizes drag in water, allowing it to move efficiently. This shape enables submarines to achieve higher speeds underwater compared to on the surface. Hydrodynamic control is further enhanced by the use of fins and planes that adjust angles to control depth and direction. 5. Pressure Management As submarines descend, water pressure increases significantly. The pressure hull, built from strong materials like high-strength steel or titanium, is designed to withstand these extreme conditions. Internal pressure within the submarine remains stable, protecting the crew and onboard systems. By mastering these principles, submarines can seamlessly transition between floating on the surface and operating at great depths. These capabilities make them invaluable for various applications, from defense missions to scientific exploration. Submarine design is an engineering feat that balances functionality, durability, and safety. Its structure and components are carefully crafted to withstand immense underwater pressures, navigate effectively, and house critical systems for prolonged missions. Here's a breakdown of the essential structural design elements and components of a submarine. 1. Hull Pressure Hull, the inner hull designed to withstand extreme underwater pressure, constructed from high-strength materials like steel or titanium, ensures the safety of the crew and onboard equipment by maintaining a stable internal environment. Outer hull surrounds the pressure hull, providing additional protection and shaping the submarine's hydrodynamic design houses ballast tanks and other external equipment. Two, ballast and trim systems. Ballast tanks, located between the pressure and outer hull, used to control buoyancy by taking in or expelling water. Trim tanks, smaller tanks used to balance the submarine's weight distribution for stability and maneuverability. Three, propulsion systems. Nuclear propulsion, powered by a nuclear reactor, providing virtually unlimited endurance underwater. Diesel electric propulsion combines diesel engines used at the surface to charge batteries and electric motors used underwater. Propellers or pump jets, the primary means of propulsion designed to minimize noise and maximize efficiency. Four, control surfaces. Diving planes, horizontal fins that control the submarine's depth by altering its angle in the water. 
rudders, vertical fins used to steer the submarine. Five, periscopes and sensors. Periscopes, used for visual observation above the surface while submerged. Sonar systems, active and passive sonar arrays for detecting obstacles, other vessels, and underwater terrain. Navigation sensors, include gyroscopes and inertial navigation systems for precise underwater positioning. Six, life support systems, oxygen generation produces oxygen from seawater through electrolysis. CO2 scrubbers, remove carbon dioxide to maintain breathable air. Water filtration systems, purify seawater for drinking and other uses. Seven, communication systems, radio antennas, used for communication when near the surface. Very low frequency, VLF systems, allow communication with command centers even when submerged. Eight, compartments and internal layout. Command and control center, the brain of the submarine where navigation and tactical decisions are made. Engine room, houses propulsion systems and power generation equipment. Living quarters, provide space for crew accommodations, meals, and recreation. Nine, safety and emergency systems. Escape hatches, designed for emergency evacuation. Flood control systems, pumps and bulkheads to manage flooding. Fire suppression systems, vital for handling onboard fires in enclosed spaces. By integrating these components, submarines achieve their remarkable capability to operate efficiently and safely in one of the most challenging environments on Earth, the ocean depths. Submarines operate in isolated and hostile underwater environments, making life support systems essential for maintaining a safe and habitable atmosphere for the crew. These systems are designed to manage air quality, water supply, temperature, and other critical factors for extended missions. Here's a detailed look at the vital components of a submarine's life support systems. One, air quality management. Maintaining breathable air is one of the most crucial aspects of life support in a submarine. Oxygen generation, electrolysis of water. Oxygen is produced by splitting seawater into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. Oxygen storage. Submarines carry compressed oxygen tanks as a backup to replenish the air supply if needed. Carbon dioxide scrubbing. Excess carbon dioxide, CO2, exhaled by the crew is removed using chemical scrubbers, such as lithium hydroxide, to maintain safe air quality. Trace gas removal. Systems filter out other harmful gases, such as carbon monoxide or hydrogen, that may accumulate in the enclosed environment. 2. Water supply and recycling. Submarines need to supply water for drinking, cooking, and hygiene. Water distillation. Seawater is purified and converted into fresh water using distillation units. Water recycling, gray water from showers and sinks is treated and reused to minimize waste and conserve fresh water. Three, temperature and humidity control. Submarines operate in environments with significant temperature differences between the surface and ocean depths. Temperature regulation, air conditioning and heating systems maintain a comfortable internal temperature regardless of external conditions. Humidity control, dehumidifiers prevent excess moisture which can lead to condensation, corrosion, and mold growth inside the submarine. Navigation systems. Submarines must navigate without relying on visual references or frequent surfacing. Advanced technologies enable precise underwater navigation. Sonar, sound navigation and ranging. Active sonar, emits sound waves and measures their reflections to detect objects and determine distances. Passive sonar, listens for sound waves emitted by other objects such as ships or marine life to avoid detection. Inertial navigation systems, INS, use gyroscopes and accelerometers to track the submarine's movement and position relative to a known starting point without relying on external signals. GPS, global positioning system, used on the surface to determine location before diving, provides accurate coordinates for mission planning and alignment. Bathymetric mapping, employs sonar data to create detailed maps of the seafloor aiding navigation in deep sea environments. Dead reckoning, a manual navigation technique using speed, time, and direction to estimate position when other systems are unavailable. Submarines represent a pinnacle of human ingenuity and engineering designed to perform complex tasks in one of the most challenging environments on Earth, the ocean depths. By leveraging principles of buoyancy, advanced propulsion systems, and cutting-edge navigation technologies, submarines achieve their unique capability to operate stealthily and efficiently underwater. From military operations to deep-sea research and even recreational use, 
submarines have proven indispensable across various domains. Their ability to explore, defend, and gather data beneath the waves is critical to advancing science, enhancing national security, and fostering a greater understanding of our planet's oceans.